Believe it or not, I got no mail today. No parcels, nothing from Amazon, nothing from the mail, eBay, FedEx, UPS, nothing. So I'm going to talk more about some things that I've been reading. First off, this uh, Batman and Superman Adventures World's Finest. I didn't know this at the time, but this is actually uh, based on a movie that is a combination of three episodes of the series, I believe. But I didn't know that when I read it. I thought this was a really cool story. It's it's an uh, it's a telling of the first meeting between Batman and Superman. There's some Joker and Lex Luthor stuff. Joker and Lex Luthor are working together. It starts with uh, a heist, a, a stolen jade dragon, which you find out is made of kryptonite, and the Joker is trying to work with Lex Luthor to get some money. Joker's cash flow is getting kind of low, I guess. Uh, some other interesting elements of this story are that Bruce Wayne is working with Lex Luthor to create some robots. There's also a romance between Bruce Wayne and Lois Lane, which I found very interesting. I love that kind of stuff. So yeah, I the, the reviews on Goodreads were basically, oh, why did they make this when you could just watch the movie? But I didn't know about the movie, although now I do want to see that. But this was a pretty cool read. My copy here is very well loved, very worn out. And uh, I don't know who this came from, but it, this came back to me in, in my collection. I can't remember if this is mine or if it somehow got mixed in with my stuff, but I'm happy to have it. It was pretty cool to read. Next, I read Batman One Bad Day, Two-Face Number One. I got this at Five Below. There are these DC comic packs at Five Below. And I was going to do an unboxing, but I realized that they're all pretty uniform. And there's like five or six different varieties of these things. So there wasn't really a point in doing an unboxing of them because you could just watch somebody else's. They've all they've been done. But this series apparently... Uh, the One Bad Day is a series of one shots revolving around the Batman villains. And apparently the best one is the Riddler. Again, I just read these things and then I go rate them on Goodreads and I read other people's reviews. And everybody was saying, well, this was OK, but it wasn't as good as a Riddler one. You got to read the Riddler one. So I have to maybe look for the Riddler one <laughs> based on everybody's reviews. But this was pretty good. It was not an origin story, but it's the story of Two-Face uh, is kind of in in a... He's in a period where he's in Batman and the pol police's good graces, and he's trying to have a birthday party for his father, but he gets some kind of threat, and he reaches out to Batman and says... I would like security at this event that I'm going to have for my father's birthday. <clears throat> so there's uh, you you have Batman and Cassandra Cain's Batgirl and Stephanie Brown as spoiler all go. And it, it, it's pretty cool because it's suspenseful and, and kind of actiony. And I won't spoil the end, but it was pretty good. Like, again, a, a nice short. Thing that you can read in, in 10 minutes and I did enjoy it but I'm I'm interested to see more of the these especially the Riddler one based on the reviews that I was reading and lastly I'm working on uh, this is the Cassandra Cain Batgirl trade paperback volume 3 I love this series I love Damian Scott's artwork which not every issue is drawn by Damian Scott, but a lot of them are. Uh, it's mostly written by Kelly Puckett. Some issues are Chuck Dixon. <clears throat> it's not earth-shattering stuff plot-wise. A lot of it's just the the entire like run of this book, at least as far as I've read, revolves around Cassandra Kane being discovered, tutored by Oracle and fighting with Lady Shiva and you know Cassandra Cain becomes the only person to ever beat Lady Shiva in a fight uh, and then there's some 
monster of the week type issues after that. But in in this in the issues that are in this trade paperback, there's a lot of Stephanie Brown action. There's a lot of uh, Oracle stuff. There's the the Bruce Wayne murderer timeline is going uh, or a subplot is going on during this. So there's some cool issues where they do detective work to try and exonerate Bruce Wayne. So it's pretty cool, and it's a super fast read. Cassandra Kane is a woman of few words, and, and thusly reading through these issues is very fast, although I like to stop and admire Damian Scott's artwork. I, I am a huge fan. But that's what I'm working on now. I, I also wanted to mention I'm playing Batman Arkham Knight, which I have put off playing for a long time because of the criticisms against it but i try to be more open-minded about video games and not just oh the internet says i shouldn't like it so i'm not i don't i didn't even play this game for years i actually <clears throat> excuse me i had a copy sold it to a friend of mine and i was like well I, come on it's batman i'll give it a shot so i bought a copy for xbox one and i had been playing it but i think the criticisms are pretty valid like I feel like I'm playing Battle Tank a lot. And I, you know, I played Battle Tank when I was a kid on the Atari. And uh, the Batmobile sections with the combat with the drones, it's just like, what is what is going on here? But the other elements of the game that you know and love from the Arkham series are all there. The stealth, the action, the fighting... I am not good at the fighting. I'm just mashing the buttons. I know that it's a more in-depth combat system if you learn it well, but I'm just I'm that's not how I play video games. I just put the game on easy and mash the buttons. Uh so much so that I've had some comical moments where I'm just mashing buttons moving around and you know <laughs> he just jumps around and one at one point I had knocked out like three guys quick and I was still mashing the buttons and he was just like dancing around. It was pretty funny, but uh I I'm enjoying it enough to keep going with it, but I am totally getting the criticisms of it. So that's that's what I'm working on now. I got some good parcels on the way if you really like the unboxing and the hauls stuff it will continue don't worry today just happened to be an off day but i am going to talk more about what i've been reading so there you go thank you to everybody who is a new subscriber thank you to the old subscribers too for hanging around thank you for liking all the videos and the comments i got i do really appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one